Alright, allegedly I'm streaming. But I don't remember if the microphone audio is in it, so just FYI. Nice. I know I fixed it, but I don't remember if I, like, unchecked it. Nope. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I had to come to a whole new planet to put this down, because as soon as I throw down 180 of these uh, science things, I'm not going to be able to come back. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll be able to come back, but I'm going to need the patience of a saint to get here. So, I'll just, I assume all I'll ever use this for is if I'm going to mine, because there's a lot of copper and stuff here. But that doesn't take much power. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's like, set and forget it. It should be up on YouTube. I don't know how you were able to play this so successfully, John, while stoned. It's so it's so frustrating at times. At times, it's super helpful. You know, for some reason, it it helps. But other times, it's it's devastating when you're when you're an hour and a half into a factory and realize that you like just completely forgot output. You know, and you've got to tear everything up and do it all over again. Who says I forgot? Well, I did. I have more than once. One, two, three, four, five, six times fifteen to ninety. Hundred and eighty. Alright. Let's fire this boy up. Oh shit. Did I think oh I did. It says you're streaming, but I can't find the stream. What the hell? Um, it sounds like you're on YouTube, then. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Fuck. That's, that's a feature. That's not a, it's not a bug. It's even given me a notification. <laughs> you just can't click on it? Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere, though. You can see my uh, five-second save spikes now, too. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh. Where did I put them? Hey, there it is. Finally showed up. Uh, I'm going to need two hundo. And enter choppiness. Ooh. I tell you what, though, they make science real pretty. Damn, this, this game goes places. What the heck? Oh, yeah, no, I just stopped by Doob... 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 He... Doob... A. Just fuck my frame rate up. Hey! Stop. Okay, well, maybe hey. I won't switch you for my cat. Hey! Don't oh, you got a bad dog. It's the same shit, just slightly different color. Tell so you what, 15 story uh, things look really cool in this game, especially because the, you know, like the planets are so small. Back when I was on my home planet, that was like how I was able to orient myself. Orientate, whatever. All right. Or, so it's orient. This and this. Oops. Stop. This and this. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm spraying them coming and going. Check it out. And my oh, frame fantastic. rate's about... My frame rate's about to drop some shit. All right, so now do I have... my home planet able to come here? <coughs> we'll see. Yeah, once you can unlock artificial suns, it's like a completely different game. Or what are you talking about? Everything? I I mean, I'm just I'm mining copper and like making little uh, these rings with the little like the magnets. Yeah, you know I have some. I yeah yeah yeah. No that that I thought you played this before. No that that's the fun. I mean the the, the, I did the beginning is actually really fun. 
I I played it for about an hour. Oh yeah, you're probably gonna need to play for more than that. See, that is concerning. This is cool. I've got the. I just I I just ran into the frame rate issue and it's kind of stopped me. But now that that's fixed, I can dig back into it. Why can't I stay in hydrogen? I'll up that for now. I'm assuming that's some sort of interplanetary shipping. Yeah, the big boys are. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. But I tell you, once you get to the blue proliferator, the Mark, the Mark III proliferator there, oof. You, you start getting all sorts of shit. Like you'll see here on the screen that my theoretical max for red is 37.5, and I'm currently producing 41 or 40 point whatever. Right, because like the proliferator just makes it make no sense. Oh God, dude, what's going on? I'm out of both now. Yeah, you uh, you use the shit out of like conveyor belts at the beginning of the game to just get around your planet. You know, yeah. like it's just there's just hundreds of them stretching across yep. like a whole hemisphere, and by and so you you use hundreds of them, and you're like, God, you so many of these things. <laughs> and it's interesting because once you unlock the logistics stations, you don't have the need to run those anymore, but you end up using more because you have to build things bigger to account for the fact that you can like move more at a time. Okay. So like I, I obviously you get the ones that can that can transport materials faster. Right, yeah, That's and I mean, cool. so early game, you're you're carrying around like six, eight hundred of them, a thousand of them, and you're like, God damn, I'm worth carrying so many of these, and now I don't leave home without like six grand because you just don't know what you're gonna <laughs> think you're gonna have to do, you know? Yeah, you got a whole planet's worth of like, oh, I can set up this mining in your oh, inventory yeah. right now. It's like, well, I can mine this planet now. I've got I should, enough. Uh, I should show you my my factory, my building factory 2.0. Yeah. Why? Well, I'm still in the initial feeling out, like, oh, what should oh, I, I can... do with the, you know, the ratios and the things? And I'll, I'll go back to my home planet so you can, <laughs> you can see what it's like. You can see the nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's obviously grown, right? Because like, as I yeah. was unlocking stuff, I was doing stuff there. Um, I, I waited a long time to do whatever the last science was, the second to last science was. So like, I didn't have. I couldn't comfortably move like large distances in the in the universe. So I was building. I was still trying to like build stuff at home, even though I really should have moved out. But I, I wasn't like from a technology standpoint, I wasn't there. I'll show you my my first. Uh, factory yeah, shit is just everywhere that's a clusterfuck all right so here's my first factory my main building factory you'll see it's all flack now what is that oh magnets are gone right i moved them so you'll see that like i can build i have a couple of builders for each of the main buildings in the game right yeah and then as you have to upgrade, so then I go from those orange inserters to these green ones. And then uh, from the orange assemblers to the green ones. Yep. Because again, I was just like piecemealing this stuff. So that's, that's the original one that then like spans, right? So now you've got uh, liquid storage tanks and chemical plants and logistics vessels and shit. I just kind of threw everywhere. But, you know, one or two each and just a giant clusterfuck of whatever's going on here. Spaghetti. And then once I started figuring out how to get around easily, I decided I was going to expand. And I went over here. What's with all the things that say test? It's a mod that another mod, I think, broke, which is okay because oh, I don't okay. need it now. <laughs> but it's super helpful because as you start building, you can, like, it's like DSP marker. Um, oh, okay. So you so can you mark can, be like, this is my whatever. So you yeah, can come back so and remember. When you're trying to remember where the fuck you put something, you can just like 
you know, you see in the top right there when I land, you'll see yeah. like a, an eye and a a red smelter and stuff, and it's just there for. That's cool. You can click on it, right? So if I want to go to zero, I just click on zero, and it auto drives me. Nice. Okay, so this one's a little. This second plant's a little more organized, lined up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. So, so now I have created another. I'll shrink that. So I'm assuming the next, like, if you ever do a second playthrough, it's going to be like you're going to start from the hey, I know where to arrange and organize and. Yes, I will. I mean, you have to start with the stupid conveyor belts. Yeah, but you can still plan around things a lot better than just piecemeal dropping them. Because you should see my start. It's just like oh I yeah, no, it's, I, I'm sure it would, your second start's just a shit, right? Because like you, you think you have all these ideas, but then you didn't yeah. really think about them. So anyway, well, and... so <laughs> this is my this is my new main mall right here, but. Okay. I've also decided to build every building in the game, so then you can drive around and see that, like, okay, here's where I build water pumps and liquid storage. Here's where I build the uh, the sorters. Um, then I have, like, all of these interstellar stations that make them available for me, so as I'm flying around, I can just request them. That's what I was going to ask. It's like, is there a way to make it so you can... Yeah. get to that stuff without flying from planet to planet but that's cool yeah so like i don't remember what planet place i did but once i started centralizing in the in the the star system um i set up a forward operating base where i have a requester and a supplier for each thing so i just went in and did all the, the major things that i use all the time and had them come over um to me so that I could just go to that plant instead of coming all the way back here every time. But you can see like all the way around here, I create like the oil refineries, the oil extractors, chemical plants, the power towers, fractionators, um, the orbital collectors, the drones, the matrix labs, the everything. I have like the the progression for the assemblers all the way up to Mark Mark Three, you know. Yeah. Uh, everywhere, and so this is my primary place where I just build buildings and then I find ones that have like elements here and put them all together so that I don't have to build individuals it's nice okay that makes sense yeah it gets a little easier to, to handle these processors are nice I just can't find the blueprint I used oh you were using some community blueprints a couple times, Did you yeah. Make them yourself. Okay. Uh, I've made I've made a lot myself, but there are ones where it's like I grow and forget that graphene's a thing or something, and I and I'm like I need a shitload of graphene. I need it quickly because I can't progress, and then I'll go out and find like a gigantic graphene thing. A big, a big graphene myself. production. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Processor. It's all. You it's know what? This, oh, this what game. This? The thing I realized about this game is like this game is almost like programming. Oh, it's very much. It is that. That's why I yeah, like it so it's much. Just, yeah, you gotta. It's like okay, I need. You're making loops. You're making, you know, sorters and for loops and case statements and. It's interesting. Yeah, and then it's uh, a, a lot to it. I've got a second Dyson sphere being built now. Because the first one I picked because I thought I needed perpetual night day to make it effective because the ray receivers have to be, their efficiency depends on how how much time they spend facing the energy. Yeah. So as a, planet, okay. as a planet rotates, there's going to be aspects of the planet that are not lit, so you lose efficiency. Mm. But the tidal lock planets don't do that. Um but then you build them so fucking big, the planets are on the inside of the Dyson Sphere, and there doesn't matter where you where you build at that point, because you're inside the Dyson Sphere. So here's the one that I'm currently building. It's gonna it takes a minute. This one does anyway. What the fuck? I marked it. I don't know where it's at. I have to mark it. I already lost it. So I, you haven't played this like all the way through, then? 
No, 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 no. I just started playing it like a week ago, but the oh, frame okay. rate thing was bothering me and I couldn't continue. You need to go back to it if you fix that. Yeah. Except you also probably shouldn't. Because I've this is my seventh day off, and I'm I've put over seventy five hours in it since I started vacation. Well, you haven't had a full time job in a while, so yeah, it's been a minute. I, I understand it can be a rude uh, rude transition. <clears throat> I have a program to manage when I get back, though, so I'll finally have some work to do, maybe. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Hopefully by the time you get back, everyone's already picked teams and a new leader. As long as the, as long as the paycheck clears. Right, they can just be back up on special projects. So here's my here's my second Dyson Sphere currently being built. <gasps> Wait. Are the structures done or am I out of rockets? Uh oh. I am not out of rockets. What? What? Is the. What does that mean? What is. No node? The fuck does that mean? Probably have a, you probably gotta get a you node. Have to build, you have to, I mean, they can't launch rockets to a node that doesn't exist. So if you don't have any rockets, or if you don't have any nodes that need to be built, then it's not gonna launch anything. But it. Oh, are those the structure points? Mm-hmm. So then I'm done. I'm done building. Now it's just waiting for the... Oh, that sucks. I wanted to show you the rockets going off. But you see these blue lines here. Those are the uh, solar sails that I'm shooting from yeah. both poles. And so they're absorbing. I could probably put more of those down then. That kind of sucks, though. I was... So who, what other one can I move into? Oh, and then what you can do when you get this, right? I mean, I go find the inner planet here that's inside the fucking thing. I'll fly into it, too. They do a pretty good job of, like, particle effects. I mean, given that it's a simulation, you know, and it's yeah. it's it's pre-release, and it's just, like, two dudes chilling in a barn somewhere, It uh, it is remarkably good. You're probably back when you have like a hundred megawatts or something like that for power. So you're you can't even fly, and then when you when you get the ability to fly, you don't have the. No, I just I just unlocked the uh, the coal generators. Nice, yeah, yeah. So I'm, that's... I'm I'm starting to crank out some power there, and I'm deleting and moving stuff so the conveyor belts are better because I was just I was just pl plopping them wherever. Oh, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? There's just nothing but space there. And you mm -hmm. don't know what to do with all of it, so who gives a shit? But remember equators, though. That, that had got me for a long time. It was frustrating, and I didn't really put two and two together until I was watching some dude um, on YouTube, and he was, like, showing the fault lines, because with the curvature of the Earth, you're gonna when you go into construction mode, you'll see the grid but you'll see where lines will, will like stop instead of going all the way through. And when you try to when you try to build on that, you you know, you lose like the ability to straighten things up. You might not be able to get a a, a, a sorter to work or something. It's really stupid. But if you stay in the middle of the planet, you're fine because there's no fault lines in there. It's just when you get towards the, the, the poles. Again, something that I would have liked to have known. But I remember when you first unlock flight, and you're so excited, but you get to fly for like five seconds, and then you just know there's no power left. So you're you're dragging ass trying to walk somewhere, and you're uh, your um, construction drones are just like you, you left them across the planet because they can't they can't catch up to you. It's miserable. So then, on this planet, I have these ray receivers that go, I have to build more of these, that go all the way around the planet. Okay, so you're, it's, that's building out that crazy grid. Well, this is the planet that's absorbing what's 
you know, this is the one that's inside of it. I go yeah. back. It's one that's inside of it. So all the way around 24 seven, you're getting a hundred percent receiving. So you get efficiency okay. boost, but this is where I collect the actual energy and turn it into critical photons and portable energy. And so those, well. those little blue rock beams are slowly building all the little hexagons in the, the grid around the thing yeah so the the, the little, blue <laughs> little thing, tiny yeah those blue things are solar sails so they're the things that actually absorb the energy so what you okay. see here i don't know if i can see it yeah so um you, you see like the 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 honeycomb yeah. shape things those are the solar sails connecting and then the, the the space between the frames that's where the solar sails need to go yeah. So I have, as it turns out, now that I know how to read it based on what John said, over here, I have to shoot out one, two, three, comma. I have to shoot out 8.78 million solar cells, and I've shoot, I've shot out 3.8 at this point. Okay. You're getting there. Yeah. I could have expanded the solar cells. I didn't really think about it. I thought the rockets were going to be my my issue but it turns out i i really shot some fucking rockets <laughs> so Damn. now if i look at the next blue let's see what's lambda telescope he got on him glad gas giant no dice Ooh. oh satellites I just can't believe how much space and shit there is. And you come across these planets that just look so beautiful. I mean, there's a lot of the common ones. Um, the the planet you start on, the planet Mediterranean, that's the only planet that apparently is like that. But the others, what's in here? Ooh, is that going to be close enough? There are ones that are similar, just not quite the same. Which, I, I, I mean, yeah, you're right. They, they are similar, but there are a couple that fuck that pop. And the, the hurricane stone forest, and then there was, it's not Pandora Swamp. It was something else. It was just beautiful. So I think this one might work. 151% solar energy ratio. That's a lava planet. There's gonna be. Ooh, horizontal. That means let's go there. John was also right about the fact that once you hit space warpers, the game. I mean, it's still massive. You, you, <laughs> you, you. It still takes time to get places in your space warping. But like 20 seconds versus, you know, the three hours that it quotes you if you don't space warp. Yeah. But now I've got enough power that I can just go from one end of the thing to the other. I might not be able to do much when I get there, but I'd be able to make it. It's when you're space warping and run out of fuel and you have to go like the next, you know, like. 6 AU without any fucking power. See, like, this planet is pretty. You know? It's purdy. It helps that its star is blue. Can I get that Maya in there? 2.27 AU. So if I can get Maya 1 inside, I'm building one here. Let's go over there to one. I'd also recommend at some point, especially once you get like off your planet, to look into the uh, cruise assist mod. Ooh, sulfuric acid. 
at the beginning you you think, oh my god, I have to, I have to make so much fucking plastic, and then you realize like, who fucking needs plastic? Just kind of neat. I hope that's how real life ends up being too. Like once we get to more advanced technologies, or like plastic, fuck that. Who needs who needs it? Where's the fucking star? There it is. Oh, I bet I can. 0.88? I bet I can. I bet I can. Where'd it go? Fuck. Yeah. I... <clears throat> I have to be very... Uh, measured with this game because... It's just... It's a lot of uh, data. Yep. You have to get a couple mods that... Give you even more production insight. Without being cheaty, it's just quality of life. And you're you're scrolling and looking at numbers, and then you start playing with the calculator. Oh, it's so nice. I wasn't using calculators until um, this last proliferator upgrade. Now I can't do the math anymore. I'm gonna have to think about it. It's no point if it's a calculator. Where is the fucking star? Oh, star! Fuck. <gasps> yes! <gasps> Alright, do I have shooters on me? I ain't got no shooters, Lieutenant Dan. What up, Hanley? Uh -huh. I'm going to turn my mic on this time. And you knew, and like, you didn't struggle with either on camera. That was maybe the bigger, the best upgrade for you, honestly, is that we didn't all watch you struggle for several months. I don't think I noticed before, or last time. No, you didn't. Or I thought I had left it on, and I didn't. And then the struggle was real. Fuck, I hate this. I want to see how quick I can set up a Dyson Sphere. I'm debating the... Uh oh I'm debating uh, giving... Factorio another go. Taking a break from this for a little bit, because, like... At this point, I can just keep doing what I'm doing, which I am. But it... It's... You get to a point where, like, you have all the resources you need, period, for anything. And if you don't, you, no can end scale game. Up. you can scale up so fucking fast. Let's take 80 of these. How many How many stacks of that? Oh, shit. All right, rockets are on the doohickey. Shouldn't need a bunch of those. How many shooters I got on me? I think they did a really cool job just making this be like you can tell they like had creativity of like how would you how would you make this hypothetical thing real? And I got creative with it. Planet Lava. Anybody watch anything fun or do anything lately? So I have no. to get a new puppy. Oh shit. John's uh, googly eyed ape poster thing's gone. 
in the, the monkey in the dress. Yeah. Looks like he took down all his uh, Lego figurines, too, unless they're above the camera. Looks like right. he set up all his knitting stuff. I think that shelving's new. I got to go get ready for bowling, though, so I'll see everybody later. Later. Later, man. So, Obliquity is the planet's, like, how it's off from 90 degrees, like how far from being, like, perfectly perpendicular. Is that what it is? To its orbit? I would have thought someone here would know things about science. Oh, shit. I think it's going to be that side of the planet. You've got like a, a, a gigantic yarn thing going on behind you. That's uh, that's quite the collection you got. <laughs> Don't make you ever do it. Isn't it like illegal for kids to go back to school before Labor Day? Wasn't there like some law that said they couldn't? Not that I'm aware of. It would seem a bit arbitrary. I thought that they did away with the, the early starts. Uh, they did. Something happened to it, I think. I don't know what happened. Hmm. I just decided to stop giving a fuck about <laughs> Yeah, we get that there's a new rule, just fuck it, you know? I assumed it was another Snyder shit thing. Which one? Was the... Undoing it or doing it? I was going to say, what would be the thought process behind, behind it? I think he undid it. I don't think kids have to like be in school year-round, do you? Yeah, I get it. Are you talking college or elementary? K-12. I don't know if anybody gives a fuck about college kids. Uh, I guess I don't know anything about K-12. And they might. I just, I really, oh no. Oh no, I didn't limit it. Oh no. I mean, I always, my birthday's always been on August 28th, and almost every year since I was a kid, school started like the week of or the, the same day as my birthday. So I think it's always started to kind of a little early. Yeah, and they were trying to change that. And I thought Maybe. they did. Like, where, yo, Labor Day is that one last... I don't know what the exact reason is, but, like, there's... It, it's definitely pro-family to not have your kids forced back to fucking school so early. The only thing I can figure is people wanted to be able to schedule vacations or something. Still kind of seems I think seems they just little... want their workers back. I don't know. I really don't know. It it doesn't make. Yeah. I don't understand where it's coming from. Oh, I gotta do two of these bastards. I mean, I think they started the... starting a little bit earlier just because they kept running out of snow days and people had to do so many makeup, so they wanted to start early enough that they didn't run out of days. But I could I'm be pretty, wrong. I'm pretty sure it was just because it's so fucking stupid to have like a short week yeah. and a long weekend and then a short week because. Half of them are like half days where you know you don't do fuck all anyway. It's just like being at work. You don't do fuck all, and then uh, you you lose basically two weeks uh, to, to doing nothing those first two weeks. Um, so then, yes, the idea was, I think, to change it, to make it solid. You get all the vacations and shit out of the way. You do your stuff, and then you're in school for like the next three months like you're supposed to be. But I don't know why it changed. I, I'm positive it passed. 
And that was I, yeah, it did, and, and it went in, it went into effect. Like I remember, I might have my niece. something about. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they undid it. Teachers being annoyed because they'd get the students back after a long vacation, then they'd be gone for another three days right away, and it was hard to get them into routine. So that could be it too. Uh, I mean, it makes no dumb. sense anyway. Yeah, so I, yeah, whatever, I don't know why they undid it. Whatever the case may be, it's pretty dumb. Fair enough. But I don't I know when it changes back. Some amount of effort just to destroy the public school system, so it could be part of that. Most likely, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I want to know how. Like, how? What is? It routes routes kids to DeVos's for-profit daycare chains, probably. Oh, probably, actually, you're right. Where she's also quietly siphoning off their blood for the Democrats. You gotta get that adrenochrome somehow. Exactly. Mark gets it <laughs> somehow again. I'm pretty sure they have to be scared in order to do it, so they're being raped as well at the same time. Well, that's oh, just the be. bonus. <laughs> yeah, that was gonna happen it. whether they're getting the blood or not. Might right. Call it whatever you call oh, it. Yeah. But Hillary and her pizza oh, cheek and her it. Just... Didn't keep it one. You prick. What are you up to, Mark? I was just taking a walk. Oh, sure. How'd that go? Mm, kind of hot out as you get, get going. But uh, I was working on my project before that. Finally How's got that my. Coming? I was able to insert a job into the queue. You know, using a database queue. So I mean, that's kind of step one in order to like. You know, periodically check for updates for podcasts and whatnot. And that was way harder than it should have been. But I made one. <laughs> One mistake that gave me an error message that made no fucking sense. So I spent like you down the wrong rabbit hole. Love those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it did make sense if I looked at the right line, but when I had like who has time you know, for that? Three hundred lines. It was. But they should label those things like red herring dot error or something like that, or error dot red herring, or you know, yeah, tag yeah. it in some way where it's. The worst part was is like, well, I made, I didn't implement the right type. For this thing that like builds up a ton of different types mm. so when the error hit it was like all these things are now you know Fuck. invalid wrong. or wrong even yeah. though it's all just one little thing that caused the problem which is usually how it goes but yeah. it's just driving me nuts trying to figure that out yeah that's how you learn you don't make that mistake again right? yeah yeah I, especially I kinda, like say uh, it's a new language yeah i mean i so now i think I, that kind of helped me understand the database uh library better so i'm pretty yeah. sure i'm ready to get going in that although there'll probably be different problems you know coming up but yeah you got got some tests written well i got the baseline for tests written and uh so it's but on github yet we can look at it and uh, look at it <laughs> trying to figure out what license to use oh uh, yeah but yeah, I think I'm just gonna go GPL V2. What is? I mean, what? Probably the easiest. Because uh, really keeps it open source and. Uh, I mean, like, what's the difference between them now? Like, what, why one over another? Well, V3 won't let you like use it in something like a TiVo. So basically, if like your hardware is encrypted. So basically, it will let you they'll open source the code, but you won't be able to make any changes and then run it on that device because that device is like you can't black box it. Yeah, you can't have blobs or proprietary sure. blobs in it. That's the thing. I'm not sure if I care about. Yeah, I can kind of go either way on that. You can go straight MIT. Yeah, that's a little too open source, I think. I'd rather I'd rather make sure people people spend time working on it. They get uh, yeah. they get the contributions from others. 
There's, I'm sure you've seen that site, but that's a good thing for all the different kinds or up to date ones that you can mess with. Oh, cute dog. An animatronic puppy. That's the same. It almost looked like a. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you hear the uh, Do you hear the servos whirring? Stuffed, stuffed animal. Nice and fluffy. The camera's not that bad, Ryan. <laughs> How old? 11 weeks. Oh, wow. That's a brand new uh, animatronic puppy. Yes. <laughs> probably probably 1.0 firmware. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get that out, put the license on there, and put it out at some point. So I was curious to look at it, but not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, there's not a not that much interesting at this point. Yeah. But hopefully, now that database stuff is figured out, I can uh, make progress a little bit faster. So then, what is this? Is this just dumping it to a folder that Plex has, or like what? Like, is there a player involved, or what's what's going on I mean, there? Goal is to be kind of completely separate from Plex. Just do basically try and re-implement all the same stuff, but just make it open source. So it just goes into its own SQL8 database. And then uh, creates its own tables and everything in there. But like as far as like what happens once it downloads stuff? Right now it's just the back end, maybe? Well, there's a GraphQL API to, uh, you know, um, get pull it out. So, oh, okay. Yeah, there'd be, I mean, that's, I guess I don't really have that figured out. I mean, I have a database pool in, you know, as part of, uh, in the state of the GraphQL API, but I don't actually have anything that will, you know, select the list of podcasts and distribute them, you know, in the, in the, uh, through the API. But I haven't really thought about, I was planning on just doing the podcast, like, straight up from the uh, RSS feed, but I think there's probably some things that could be done to make that better. Look at this company man calling in on his phone. What's going on? He's got one of those pimp cars that self-drives. <laughs> Do you? I'm, I'm driving. <laughs> well, oh, this, this seems very safe then. Yeah, as I was gonna say, it's got a lot more dangerous than great. <laughs> It'll stop if I try to, to fuck it up. So if I like try to run into this car right now, it'll stop me. Mm. Oh, that's you guys want to you guys want to see a shop? Uh, I was gonna say uh, this is this is right around when the phone flies off the dashboard <laughs> into the ground, and we, and we hear that it did not actually work. How you guys doing? You just oh yeah, you're just getting out of work. Damn. Oof. Yeah. I don't leave very early these days. Are you uh running that place now? Yeah, I mean, I would say pretty successfully. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's definitely some shit that I got to fix, but I don't know. I think things have gotten better. He's like an AD or something now. Well, yeah, the guy running the place is going to say things get better. I mean, kind of, <laughs> I came in here and fucked shit up. If everybody else was being honest at MSUIT, oh. that's probably what they'd have to say. I would definitely admit to you guys if I fucked a bunch of shit up. <laughs> Gary wouldn't be lying about that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Terry I definitely would just be jealous that someone else oh, is you're fucking, coming oh, you're in fucking on shit her. It's like, that's my, that's my gig, bitch. <laughs> Can't all be doing that. Oh, that's what you get trying to call in on that LTE. Man, Google Fi LTE, they might as well just take that out of their fucking phone, you know? Like, I, it's mm. never... I mean, it's. It, I only I say that because genuinely, I I when it switches to LTE, I have no coverage. It's not a. Uh, it, it's one to one. If I lose five G and internet, I'm I'm dead in water. Hmm. Doesn't seem that bad for me. I don't know if it's like the area. I don't know. Sure, but I had a. Geography. I had, a, I had a random knock on the door last night, so I thought I was at HOA getting pissed about something else. Um, but 
it was this like this woman I'm glad someone realtor, finally read my email. This uh woman and realtor and the woman is looking to, to, to buy. Um finally the asshole uh good fellows bagel people are moving out. And um she wanted to know if there's a lot of noise and stuff, and I was like, No, not at all. There isn't really any you know, it just depends on where you're sitting and where like someone's T V is, you might hear it, but it's not as if it's loud. Um, anyway, so she was like, she's really particular about audio, and I'm like, trust me, so am I. Uh, she's like, is there like any downside to this place? And I'm like, well, the HOA is bored, you know. And she's like, oh, is the HOA pretty aggressive? It's like it really just depends. So she sounds like a plant. From, she sounds like a plant from the HOA trying to do a doing a survey type of thing about mm-hmm. what, what people think about them. You're trying to get Josh well, I, Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think they have to do a survey to find out how I think about them. <laughs> what What has the HOA done to you? I had to move my car to Mark's house because it has expired plates. And then hmm. you know what's funny? He said it's a woman that's doing it, and I, I, it could be someone on the board. And if it's someone on the board, they live here, and I bet it's the fucking woman who goes out and flips cars off every day. Um, because she is parked where I always parked. Like the day I'm the day I moved my car, she moved her car to that spot. So it would be pretty amazing if she did all that shit because she's pissed because I'm always parked there. But whoever whoever was pissed off about it just doesn't like the fact that or doesn't understand what remote work is or something. They think I'm like some guy who has no job. It's like no, I'm just irresponsible. I got a job. Well, to be fair, I was actually curious for a while, like before even this vacation that you're on. <laughs> yeah, no, it I... did. It did seem a little suspicious at times whether or not you were actually actively employed. I can't. I cannot stress how little work there is to do. It's it's baffling, and how in like I will ask regularly, "Hey, what can I do?" And it's always. Oh, everything's covered. It's like, oh, okay. You're cool. still you're still gonna sign those checks? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I just had a good. my one on one on the Friday before um, I went on vacation, so the week beforehand, my uh, my boss wanted to tell me that uh, amazing feedback she's been getting from people on me and how great of a job I'm doing, and you know, like, don't let my bitch ass PA be like any indicator of anything. I'm like, cool. And then I just like fired up Dyson after that and played first the day. Because <laughs> again, I don't have anything to do. I was like, just wondering if you have to drop you. But I mean, I have like, I've asked in public, I've asked in multiple meetings, I've asked with her boss in the room. Like, I've, I've asked many times, what can I do? And I'm like, just. Well, just, it sounds like you're probably thirsty it. and people are probably irritated by that. So I'm like, well, people yeah, don't really I mean, care for thirsty. It, it's weird working someplace for like the whole organization. Kind of like does their job, you know. I, I don't know if all of them do it well. I'm still trying to figure that out, but it does seem like everybody participates. So it's kind of odd living or working somewhere like that. I will say though that just because you work remotely doesn't mean you don't ever have to not leave the house, you know. Well, there's a pandemic That's also going true. still. He's challenging that idea by having expired plates. I mean, <laughs> well, like, who who wants Lock to fucking go out with a pandemic going on? It's not like there's anything that I have to do outside, so why risk it? Mm, not really a pandemic if you're vaccinated. That's not true. Plus, I'm also like positive about not getting it, so like that's that's part of it. Be up, up, beat about positive that. attitude. Yep. I know smug plenty. Of danger. I know a handful of Be a people smug asshole it, well. and look like the maggot kid with that Indian guy. <laughs> Scares away the virus. Plus that pox boil went away, so now I can be seen in public again, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> it's still it's still but still look like you do john so i mean don't get too excited <laughs> well i mean i would still bag this face but like i don't have but i don't have to bandage my arm or or wear my uh containment suit or anything like that anymore <laughs> so that's a plus that is point of michael's nice. was one thing they expected people with pustules there and 
I did start watching that Kevin can fuck himself. Uh, so hey, you didn't get, you had not seen any of it then, correct? I hadn't seen any of it before, no. Okay. But yeah. it's a pretty interesting show. I I like it. I think it's it's like an original concept, which I like because those are so increasingly rare. Um, and then I I like the uh, just the method that they're showing the like the cuts between the the two scenarios, which I think is a fun idea. Yeah, I also I mean they uh they do a pretty good job with the accents too. Can't kind of tell it's slipping once in a while, but. What accent still, are they supposed to have, or whatever? Austin. Austin. But at the same time, like at least for the, like the sitcom part of it, I don't mind it slipping because I think it's almost kind of ex- like semi-expected because it could be faking it. But yeah, um, yeah, I haven't noticed quite as much for the other side, but I don't think it's quite as strong in the reality yeah. part either. Which, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just it's fun. Um, I'm actually I, pretty impressed how well the dialogue is written for the uh, the uh, the comedy, the sitcom part of it. It's like, stylistically and stuff. It is like it's it's spot on. Yeah. Like it, like it is, it is, it really hits the note on a shitty white people sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> I did start watching uh, Sprung. I watched the first couple episodes. Same guy who did My Name's Earl and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Wrong. I've never heard of this. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Like Greg Daniels? Yeah. Or Garcia. Hmm. Greg Garcia, I think it is. Drop it in there. It's it's pretty funny so far. It's got a lot of the same characters. Who's from the in it? Actors. Oh, Martha Plimpton. Yeah. Hmm. It's gotten pretty good reviews, too, so I've what only seen what, the first couple episodes. What channel is it on? It's on Freebie. It's oh, no, uh, Amazon Freebie bullshit. exclusive. Yeah, where they put uh, Bosch Legacy. <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, I've got Amazon Prime, and they're making me watch commercials on oh, Amazon yeah. Freebie. Well, it's, Am- it's, like, it's, oh, IM- my. it's IMD- IMDb TV rebranded, right? So they have to... It might be, too, yeah. Oh, it, it is. It, that's what, that's what they did. Yeah. Fucking idiot. I was, I was debating whether to request it on one of your guys' servers just to, to check it out, but I figured I'd wait till the first season was done. Uh, I, I have a special place in my heart for Garrett Dillahunt. You know who he is? Bang. Yeah, uh, yeah the main, main actor. Uh, yes. And um, he was the Terminator. I was gonna say Sarah, Sarah, remember, Connor, Sarah Connor Chronicles. Was the Terminator. Oh, was he? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was Did pretty good see to that. see the difference in the like goofball from the comedy show into yeah, the he's super Terminator. goofball. Yeah, he did a he did a good job of both of those extremes. Hmm. I've actually liked him. I I can't really think about this. I see him every once in a while in some like you know one or two like a guest spot sometimes, and and I was. I always think he does a pretty good job in whatever he's in, but I did yeah. I did think he was especially good as the Terminator, um, and I never oh, really watched that Raising Hope show. That was an okay show. I I just oh. but that was largely because I'm in love with uh, Shannon Woodward. That definitely kept my interest too. But I, think I love that woman. What? Which? She's show? the uh, Raising Hope. Oh. I mean, it was all right. Just it was you could tell like it was like Fox trying to capture like what FX and AMC and those shows were or those channels were cooking up. USA. Those people. Is that what you mean? Yep. <laughs> Fucking people. Say it. I really like the Terminator TV show too, except they killed it after two seasons, right in the middle of when it was getting good. Well, it's really. because of the writer's strike. That was a victim of that. Oh, really? Yeah. They, I not watched it. I was tempted. There was no, there was no one to write for it anymore, so they just... Dropped like, a lot, a lot of shit got canceled that that year and, because... Uh, there were a couple sad. of good ones, if I remember right, that were... I was disappointed. 
in the second season, they introduce uh, Shirley Manson, who I've never seen her. She's the lead singer for Garbage. I've uh, never heard. Well, she and, was. Like, I, yeah. It's like, why would you be an actress? But she did a good job. Pretty she thick, was thick. especially fun, actually. I liked her a lot. Scottish or what, Irish. Is it Irish? Irish, yeah. Oh, she's dead now, isn't she? I don't know. I don't know. No, that was the one from the Cranberries. Oh, is, uh, Dolores, something or other. Yeah, Queech, I believe so. Uh, yeah. yeah, Dolores Lady did pass away. If I remember right. Oh, yeah. Cranberries. Pretty sure she died. A lot of people who were dead that weren't dead before. You know, it's weird that it keeps happening. Is, uh, so much to look into it. But no, she was uh, like I would I would watch her again in another acting role because I thought she did a really good job as just <laughs> I mean really as a cold hearted bitch. Because, <laughs> but you know she was a machine, so <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. Spoiler alert. So you know there is. Oh there hey is man, that. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> is it like the Cylons and you don't know? <laughs> no, it's. Pretty obvious very quickly. <laughs> I think within the first minute or so, you you meet her. She's already murdered someone. I think. Fair enough. How's uh, how's Dars? Do you guys hear any update from from that? No, I'm disappointed that I didn't get called into a meeting. Well, they probably don't need your 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 particular brand of. Uh... I mean, it's possible. I mean, my my message to them this morning was very clear, but. <laughs> Not clear enough for them. It's never. You know, you know, how, that, you know how that goes. Yeah. It's not about clear to you. That's funny though. I hear uh, Rennie's working here's this, out. Here's this error message that comes from a function within this custom executable. What, what do you want us to do with that? Well, they, you did. You made the change. They didn't make the change. Well, see, that's where you're wrong because the properties file and other things pertaining to that have been changed multiple times. I can see the uh, mm -hmm. I can see the last editing times, and I bet if I went into the details, I could see who did it too. <laughs> so, well, then they're gonna have to think of something else. Yeah. Plus, I already validated the credentials and all that kind of stuff exists, so it's not that. It's the methodology that, that custom exe is using. That's on it, apparently. Yes, yeah. obviously. Well, he's probably the one that like decompiled it before and made changes to it, and is what's causing the issues. He apparently is the original author, so. Oh, really? Oh, no. He still probably is. He still probably decompiled it and made changes to it, though. <laughs> he did last time because that's the only way it worked again. No need for that original source code. <laughs> No need to fix that and pull those things out into you know external you know configuration so that well see that's where it, that's where it gets fun because I'm actually kind of curious if it oh that thing does still exist oh fuck I thought we shut this thing down his old Murphy box well yeah Murphy P1 yeah that was us but it, was it still a exists Windows 2008 box or something that's why we shut it down yeah. I don't know but he's got a tw he's got he's got a 2012. I'm I'm oh there's a he's got a 2012, which is also by the way into life. But, but now I'm I'm curious because I'm just going through this real quick because I want to see what's on here. I'm I'm very curious to see if the uh, if there's source code or was. <laughs> There's all the D6501 bullshit. I was talking to Zach today, but I couldn't get the info on what happened in financial aid. Cool story. 
I want to know. I want to know if it was Oracle or not, because it's fucking Oracle, so you know it's fucking Oracle. Well, I, I think we'd all be curious, but... I should just ask Wendy or Chris or happen? someone. Wendy bottom line? I don't know. My niece told me that financial aid's delayed from MSU because they have to do all 50,000 kids manually because of some fuck up. They claim the government did, but I'm like, man, this is a, this is the first full cycle that they've been on the Oracle product that was insufficient. I feel like that's probably more likely to blame than uh, whatever they're trying to say. I think I'd be pretty surprised if it was the government's fuck up. And we're not hearing about it nationally. I know, because... right? Like, that's what I am that's what I told her. I'm like, you know, I understand you, you don't have any other information, so it's fine that you're believing them, but you should learn how to think a little bit critically on your own by this point and just, just think through that. You haven't heard this shit anywhere, you know? There's not been, like, some CNN thing or some bullshit. It's so... Unless they, they fucked up just the state of Michigan, and even still... You'd hear about it, so really feels like maybe MSU is to blame, but we'll see. I don't see how you could fuck up so bad that you have to do everything manually instead of just fixing your problem so that you can still do it. Automated, dude. Yeah. Uh, 